that look like next season with uh, with Floriana not sticking around in a full-time capacity? What can you sort of tease of what we're going to be seeing for that relationship? First, we love Floriana and we were sad that she wasn't able to come back full-time. Um, and we love this relationship we've created and we're, with that, we're going to be telling a story, a modern day love story that really honors the relationship uh, that it hopefully will resonate and I think we'll be very satisfied and we, you know, hopefully she will Come and join us. The door's always open. Maggie is welcome to come back anytime she's free. We love Sanders, and yeah. we're very sad that Floriana is not available for the this season. Can we expect any more Pat Grant this next season? If you are able to work in the She will be in the premiere. Mm -hmm. the premiere. And she'll be, yes, she's going to be recurring for sure. Ooh, wow. So this is when you're introducing Rain. Can you kind of tease what is going to happen? I think Rain, we saw her genesis in the season finale, where she was kind of setting her own pod towards Earth, and she's a world killer, genetically engineered, um, and so she comes with a, she's a very different villain than any of the other villains on the other Arrowverse shows, and uh, she comes with kind of her own agenda that's going to put her at odds with Superwoman. Well, first of all, we're so excited about the casting of Odette Animal. And we feel like um, this is going to be a villain that the audience emotionally invests in, and that's something, you know, that's something very special, and um, it's going to be amazing. With the recast of Erica Durant coming in, what does that mean for Allura? Is there, is there a possibility she could actually be alive, or are we only going to see a sort of hologram like we've seen before? How did in mystery those questions? <laughs> I mean, I think that we wanted to keep Allura presence on the show because it really connects power to Krypton and her roots and what it meant to see her family and her planet destroyed. So yeah, I think it, it's an emotionally grounding that we thought was important. But, but I mean, it, it seems likely that mon -El might be in the Phantom Zone, something created by Allura or at least run by her. Is that... Coincidence well, or? where Monel is and how he comes back is the central mystery of our season. Um, but, we'll have to stay tuned. But, 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 the, but the theme of the season is what does it mean to be human? And Kara is going to be especially grappling with that, and all of the characters are. And you know, uh, the loss of her family and Krypton is, is impacts that a lot. And I think the mother daughter relationship is something we still want to explore in whatever fashion. So. Is this I mean, I think it, she's very, when she's grappling with that loss as the season begins, and she, I think, you know, in season two she was struggling with can't she have it all. In season three she's really struggling with how does she compartmentalize being a superhero with those human feelings that are uncomfortable for her. So I think heartbreak and loss and yeah, so she ends up putting herself kind of throwing herself more into work which complicates and uh her relationship. Last season people were so thrilled uh the house of Trump's portrayed. Is that something you're keeping in your back pocket the race of Yeah no we love Tyler, we love having Superman on the show and we love to we know that the plans are currently kind of in the works for the next big crossover, so now that you guys are established on CW, are you excited to be able to include Supergirl in your cast more in these crossovers and the after Supergirl? Yeah, no, I mean, this we're very excited about that. This season will be a true four-part episode that will begin on Supergirl, so it'll, it'll, I think, be more... It's going to be epic. More, epic for part It'll be more fully incorporated in that. So, but that's all we can say. Uh, no. 
Um, with the Luthers, um, is she going to is she going to join Team Supergirl for like a hundred percent versus the mom or not? Say that again. The Luthers, the uh, Luther family. You um, mean Lena? Lena, is she going to be a hundred percent Team Supergirl versus mom or? Yeah, I mean Lena. I mean, what did that? It's, we, we love having Katie uh, as a series regular this season, and she'll be more uh, central in the show. Um, but I think one of the central issues about Lena is that she comes from this family of bad guys, and I think it's her journey is really, and we've seen her grapple with it in season two. Is she on the side of good or is she yeah. on the side of bad? Will she we'll, fulfill the evil legacy of her family name if she's like a ticking time bomb? So we'll, we'll continue that journey with her this season. We'll see which way she's going to go. Thank you. Thank you.